Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. In this video, everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a frequent problem that most Debian users encounter. Um, well, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So basically, um, that problem that I am talking about is when you go ahead and try to install a program in the uh, Debian terminal, or console, which is what KDE calls it, um, you know, you'll be presented by something that says uh, you, uh, your name is not added in the sudoers file. So if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, uh, or if you guys just didn't read what it said when it didn't let you download that, um, I will go ahead and show you guys what I mean right now. So if I do sudo apt install Kaden live right there, and then, you know, it looks normal right now. It'll ask for your password and stuff, and then I'll go ahead and hit enter. Um, then it'll say, TechBizmo is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. Well, yours might not say TechBizmo is not in the sudoers file, you know. Yours might be your real name or something. <laughs> yours, yours might not be TechBizmo. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, um, the next step, uh, what you want to do... Um, well, actually, um, that that was basically just showing you guys the uh, the error that most uh, Debian users encounter. Um, so basically, what you want to do, go ahead and open up your terminal. And the first, the uh, second step is to go ahead and type su in the terminal. And now this will ask ask for the uh, root password. So basically, uh, you created this password at the be beginning of the Debian installation. Um, uh, a lot of the times it can be different from the actual user's password, you know, the uh, the main user's password, or I guess to make it easier for you guys, the administrator password. Um, um, so yeah, um, you know, go ahead and find your your um, your root password. Um, I, I got mine in my head right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just type in my password. So go ahead and type that in, and you want to go ahead and hit enter. Now it will say root at uh, your computer name, or basically to, uh, for to make it easier for you guys, a uh, host name. Um, actually, it would probably be easier to say computer name. So uh, root at computer name, mine is just Debian, um, colon slash home slash techbizmo and then a um, hashtag or whatever you guys want to call that, a potato. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, anyways, um, after this step, after you see root at, um, you know, the uh, computer name and that sort of stuff, you want to go ahead and instead of typing sudo apt install, you want to just do apt install. So um, not not three L's, just two. <laughs> just just something to note to you guys. Uh, only, only two L's, not three. Um, so basically, after you have apt install, just do the program that you want to install. So I am going to install Kden Live in this video. So um, we'll go ahead and hit enter, and that will install. Um, and actually, it'll um, oh looks like it's already installed. I thought it would ask for uh, a yes or a no. Uh, typically, it actually asks for a yes or a no, but I actually just deleted um, Kden Live for this video. Um, as you can see, it's actually back um, on my computer as you can see right here, 1080p 25 FPS, which I will be cranking up to 1080p 60. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you all found this video helpful and useful. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.